Hey there, this is Eric Louvier. In this video presentation, I want to share with you sort of my journey on how I went from, you know, selling really low ticket stuff, you know, at the beginning of my career back in 2004 to starting to sell more high ticket offers and how that transformed my life, changed everything for me, allowed me to make so much more net income while working so many less hours. And then I started sharing this with others, colleagues of mine, and then clients of mine and help them with the same you know, system that I've been running and we saw, you know, really great results for them too, where they started making, you know, $100,000 months, but where they got to keep most of that whole $100,000 where before maybe they did launches or they were selling stuff through affiliates or, you know, spending a lot of money on, on paid traffic and maybe they do a hundred grand in a month, but they only get to keep like 20 grand of that. So this is, was a big transformation for me. It's been a big transformation for, you know, everyone I've shared this with and taught this to. So I want it to be a big transformation for you too. So I want to kind of explain my journey and then start talking about some of the bigger elements that, you know, really were breakthroughs for me to help me to start getting into the high ticket game and living there and, and really enjoying my life where I only work like, you know, maybe two or three days a week at most. And it's been that way for a good decade now. So, you know, I don't see it changing at all. And that's fantastic because I really enjoy the free time I get to spend, you know, uh, with my family and doing the things I like to do. So, and even if that's doing nothing. So the freedom is really great and the net income is really good too. And um, you can get spoiled in this game. So I um, also want to share with you that even if you're brand new at this and you think that, well, no one's going to pay little me, you know, these high ticket fees or I'm not an expert or a guru or some influencer celebrity person, you know, who's going to pay me this big money. And, you know, I want to just talk about that as well and, and, and help you understand that that's not the case. You don't have to be some, you know, influencer, celebrity, social media diva in order to make a bunch of money online and, and high ticket. OK, so we're going to cover that as well. And, you know, well, first, right out, right out of the gates, you know, I have a lot to share. You know, so I have a couple of notes here on the screen to talk to you guys about. But also a lot of this is going to be straight from my heart. So, you know, we may bounce around a little bit. We'll see where it goes. But you're going to get a lot out of this. So pay attention, take notes, you know, maybe watch this a few times. And uh, those of you who are here live, you know, ask any questions that you have. And, and I'll try to answer those toward the end of the presentation. So, but first of all, people will pay you high ticket because really they don't care about you that much. They care about themselves more than they care about you. That's for sure. And what they're looking to do is they're looking to solve a, a big problem that they have. And they're willing to pay big money to solve that big problem that they have. Maybe it's a problem that's keeping them up late at night. Maybe it's a problem they've been dealing with for a really long time and they haven't found a solution to it. And here you are right in front of them, providing them with a premium first class solution at a high ticket price. And a lot of times that's what they feel they need to do in order to solve this problem. So it works, it works, it works, even if you're brand new, even if you don't have, you know, a bunch of credibility or a big name or a bunch of testimonials and, you know, all that stuff that's in our head. Again, they care about themselves more than they care about you and they care about solving this problem. And if they believe that you can solve this problem, then they'll pay you a high ticket for it. And this can change your life financially and not only financially, but the freedom to, you know, enjoy your life and not have to be working a hundred hour weeks and traveling all over the country and pulling your hair out, you know, damaging your health because you're eating crap food all the time because you're in a hurry, in and out of meetings, you know, fighting, you know, traffic and living in a cubicle life. Th this is a much better way of living. It it'll, it'll add years to your life and it'll allow you to enjoy yourself. And you could do this. You could really do this if you, if you focus on it. You could do this and, and um, live in this high ticket world where you make so much more net income but work so much less hours. It's true. Okay, so now my story back in 2004, I had a day job. I had come from the advertising world. I had my own ad agency, sold off some of the stock, um, and then I just had to get a job. I had spent all the money. I was, you know, pretty young still. Then wasn't married, didn't have any kids. So got a day job working in downtown Houston. Loved the people there. Loved loved the company. Um, it was all fantastic. Um, 
I learned a lot there, but it wasn't for me. I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to own my own business. I didn't want any limits to how much income I can make. I didn't want a boss breathing down my shoulder all the time, nitpicking what I was doing or not doing. I didn't like that world. I didn't want to live in that world. I wanted to own my own business and, and kind of dictate my own destiny. And that's what I did. So I started learning how to make money online while I had a day job. So I would work on my lunch break. I would work on nights and weekends. Uh, I would study, I would learn, but I would take action too. I invested money. I didn't have a lot of money at the time, but I would invest money into learning what I could do to generate money online. The first real success I got was selling just a report I wrote. Um, one of my friends had uh, finished law school, got a job in a law firm, and he was kind of just general helping lots of different types of you know law issues. And one of the ones he said was really rampant was or popular with his firm was people that had problems with their landlords. And he's like, and also had landlords that had problems with their tenants. And so he, um, you know, said, this is a way you could get your security deposit back. And, you know, th that was kind of the big problem, something like that. So back then I was in the bookstore. I got a book off the shelf that said, I think it was titled tenant rights or something like that. And I just typed up a little report on how you could negotiate and get your, you know, security deposit back or something like that. And it was like, you know, 15 pages or something. And I had like a, a letter they could use to mail their landlord and, you know, and, and get their uh, deposit back because it was a problem. A lot of landlords wouldn't want to give the deposit back because they already spent that money. So they would look for little things they could use to um, deduct from giving people their security deposit back. So anyway, I wrote this report, wrote a little sales letter. I, I put a $5 PayPal button on there and I would sell like 50 to 100 of these a day. Okay, I would use uh, Google AdWords and other ways to get traffic. And, um, you know, so I was paying money to get this traffic and I was making money so I'd keep the difference. And it wasn't a whole lot of money, but it was enough for me to start considering quitting my job as I added more reports and more niche eBooks like that. All of them were like $5, $15, nothing nothing you know extravagant i also would sell stuff on the back end so for example someone who was looking to get their security deposit back from their landlord it's probably someone that doesn't have good credit you know or they need better credit to buy a house so i'd have back end offers which were how to you know improve your credit or how to get a car loan you know how to buy a house you know things like that and i would sell that on the back end and through emails and add even more income to to my uh, daily income that was coming in so eventually it started to get into the point where I was seriously considering quitting my job. And then I started doing some copywriting for people, a, a colleague that I was kind of messaging back with, back and forth with online, who was also in the internet marketing industry. I shared a couple of my niche products with and, and him and his friends said that I was a really good copywriter. So I, I was like, yeah, I've been doing copywriting my, my whole life, really. And so I decided to, they said, well, you should start doing copywriting for other people. And, and charge them like 2,500 bucks. And I was like, $2,500 to write sales copy? Where do I sign up? And I didn't really know a whole lot about copywriters at that time getting paid. So I just did some offers and put it out there and charged like 200 bucks, something crazy. I remember Dr. Mike, who was big at the time in the internet marketing world that I was living in. He, um, not that he's not big now, he's, he's great, but he back then he was really active in the in the community did a lot of seminars and stuff and i really loved him i loved his stuff he's a super awesome guy i uh, was my first mentor but he bought like 10 websites for, i mean 10 sales letters from me so i was like overnight i made all this money and i was helping him i loved it and i really didn't want to go back to my job so i ended up quitting that job and um that was in 2006 and um th then when i quit that job which was the summer of 2006 I started a membership site because everyone was asking me what I did to quit the job, including a lot of coworkers. Like, what'd you do? Why did you quit the job? Right. And friends and family and you know, everyone that knew me knew I quit the job. We moved to Lake Travis from Houston. And so it was, it was a popular topic. Like, Ooh, did you hear that Eric quit his job and he's making money on the internet? So it was kind of a big deal. And, um, so at that time I decided to create a, a product, a report and, and a step-by-step -step on what to do to quit your job too just like I did, because everyone was asking me to teach them, and I didn't have enough time, nor did I want to. So I created a, a product on how to quit your job and make money on the internet, and it just took off. I mean, and then within a year, we did a million dollars. I brought on another partner, Mike Fulsame. We did a ton of cash. We did a lot of other offers, and um, we had over 2,500 members paying us 67 to $97 per month. So it was a million dollar business just by itself. And then um, I did some other membership sites that were like $35 a month and just different offers. 
And then I got into the affiliate game. We recruited a bunch of affiliates to promote for us. We opened a big office in Lakeway, where I live now. And uh, we had a huge office overlooking the whole country. It was fantastic. We did seminars and, I mean, offline stuff. I mean, we did it all. Home study courses, forced continuity, call center. I mean, we did it all. We were doing like $100,000 a week. It was, it was a lot of fun. So, but it was mostly all small ticket stuff, except for the copywriting stuff that I did. So I would do copywriting on the side and, and just make a fortune, right? Doing that on the side. But the thing was, it was net income. Later on, I got some more partners. We kind of split the company up. We got some employees out in California, and then we had some employees in Texas. And so we were doing a lot of money, a few million dollars a year, uh, I believe. And at that time, there was a moment where I had the biggest transformation I've ever had in my career. We were doing a few million dollars a year in income, most of it, you know, low ticket to medium ticket. And we we're doing seminars, we we're doing everything, except we weren't doing a high ticket, but I was on the side. And about 80, 90% of my time, energy, focus, and bandwidth was devoted to this company where we were doing a few million dollars a year. And only like 10% of my time and energy was devoted to the high ticket stuff I was doing on the side copywriting and coaching and, and done for you offers and stuff I would do on the side, mostly because I needed to pay my bills. And, and that was there, right? So there was a moment where I was looking at the payroll of our people that work for us. And I noticed a programmer of ours made more money than me and my partners each did individually over the past few months. So looking at his income salary, he made more than I did in three months. And I'm like, what? this isn't right. Why would a programmer be making more money than me? I'm doing everything here. So it was like, I decided I needed to get out. There was some other drama. I decided I wanted to get out of the business. And because 90% of my time was devoted to the bigger company, but 90% of my income was from 10% of my time. Do you get what I'm saying? Like 90% of my time and energy was devoted to working my, to my eyes bled for this big company that was hardly making me any money at all. Yet on the side, I would do high ticket stuff, which would afford to allow us to go to Aspen for a month and the Cayman Islands for a month and live in, you know, million dollar houses and have a lot of money and a lot. So that, that was like a wake up call. Duh. Why am I spending all of my time doing this stuff and making very little when I'm spending very little time on the high ticket stuff and making an absolute fortune? What if I switch those, okay? So um, that's exactly what I did. At the time, we were um, pregnant with my daughter, Savannah. So I wanted to make sure that I was there for the pregnancy and there for her. So I decided to sell that business and just do consulting and copywriting and just, you know, do less. And something amazing happened. Not only did I do less, I made more net income than I ever have in my whole life working just a couple of days per week. I mean, it was unbelievable. Less stress, less overwhelm, less moving parts, less headaches from customers and clients. I mean, like imagine having 2,500 customers. Like there's a whole lot of headaches going. Like just, uh, just a small percentage of those people are crazy, right? So there's like, you gotta deal with all that. You know, the craziest and stuff just out of sheer population percentage. So um, with high ticket clients though, I was cherry picking who I would allow um, it was just a much better life. It was more income. It was less work. It was more fulfillment. It was more impact. I had bigger impact on the people that I was helping. I was able to change their lives, which meant so much to me because I came from poverty. So being able to help people actually start making real money online um, instead of just teaching it to this, like to the air, right? I didn't know who, I didn't know those 2,500 people at all. My high ticket clients, they're like my friends, right? Long time relationships. I'd have dinner with them. I'd hang out with them and came in on the beach for a week. I mean, it's, it's a completely different world and I love it. It changed my life. Now I would still do low ticket stuff once in a while, but it was only to get people interested so they can do the high ticket. It really wasn't where my passion was. That's for sure. But it was a good way to turn people onto you so they would then buy your high ticket stuff. So if I'm running Facebook ads, for example, and no one's ever heard of me, they don't know anything about me, they click on an ad, they consume some of the content, 
And then they're like, oh, this guy knows his stuff. I like his style, his tell it like it is, Texas style. And he's like, I, w- I want to like, you know, learn more from this guy. I, I believe in him and whatever. And they end up buying high ticket from me. So sometimes I'll do low ticket stuff just to get them interested. But also like, why not just do it for free? Like I'm doing now. Like why not do free content? Because the, the small ticket stuff didn't make any kind of dent in my life or my finances. The only reason I would do it is to help cover the cost of ads or if someone paid 50 bucks or $20 for something, the likelihood that they're going to consume it is way, way higher than if it's something for free. If it's something for free, you kind of discount it, ah, it's free. But if it's like 20 bucks or 50 bucks, like, ooh, I paid 50 bucks, I better consume all this. And so, and this person's charging for it, so it must be really good. And you know, a lot of times the, the cheap stuff like that, you can find free stuff that's even more valuable. You can go to YouTube and find more valuable free stuff than a lot of the products you see out there that are 50 bucks. So anyway, it just doesn't ring right with me. So I would, I do more free stuff, especially with my podcast and all that, than I do with, you know, selling cheap stuff because I'd rather give free stuff away, free content, help people. And then some of those people are going to want to be clients of mine and then they're a high ticket. Now I can roll up my sleeves, get into the guts of what it is that they're doing and really help them. So I had a lot of low ticket offers and, you know, I saw that the programmer was making more than me, decided to go into the high ticket world, start focusing on that, spend time with my family, made more money doing that than I did, you know, with small ticket stuff. So that was over a decade ago when I started to go. So it's been 20 years since I've been making money online, but it was over a decade ago that I decided to really focus in on only high ticket. And so you can look at it like, let's do a little bit of math. So a thousand customers here at a hundred bucks per month is, um, you know, a lot of headaches, okay? It's a lot of administration. You're gonna need a staff, you got a thousand customers, you're gonna need a little, at least a little bit of a team. And that, that's, a lot of, that's a, lot of, a lot of people, right? But 100 customers and only $1,000, that's still $100,000 per month, okay? So just 100 customers is a lot more manageable. Now look at 10 clients, only 10 clients, not 100. 10 clients at $10,000 each, which is high ticket, is still $100,000. But that's very little time. You're just managing 10 people. You're just coaching or helping 10 people with whatever it is you sell that's high ticket. Like if it's an agency service that you're providing, you only have 10 people. They're paying you $10,000. That's $100,000. You do that every month. And that's a really great lifestyle. If you have 10 clients, I mean, you're working maybe a day or two per week. That's it. And most of that time is just bringing in new clients for the next month. So it's very little work. Not to mention those clients who paid you 10K, high level people, abundant thinking people usually, and less headaches. There's, they get it, okay? They understand, they get it. It's just a different mentality. It's not like they're not going to chase you down and bug you and provide issues. And they're not toxic, okay? Let's just say it. A lot, not that low ticket people are toxic. But because you need so much volume and you're not vetting these people, you're just sending them a buy now button, there's a percentage of those people that are going to be toxic. And, you know, if you have a small minority of people that are yelling at you, telling you that you suck and you're, you know, this and that, then you, you think of those things. You feel that, right? Well, with high ticket people, you don't feel that at all. You don't have those haters. Rarely, ever, do you have a hater at high ticket. It's just a different mentality. Okay, they're more abundant. Okay, they're more affluent usually. And they put that money down. They invest it in themselves. And they're just, it's just a different mentality altogether. We could do a whole weekend workshop on just what I just said. The mentality from a high-ticket client compared to a low-ticket client. Low-ticket, you're going to deal with a lot of toxic stuff. High-ticket, none of that. I mean, it's like virtually non-existent. And that makes a big difference. So if you have 10 clients at 10K per month, that's 100K. If you have 100 customers at $1,000, that's still manageable. And that's mid-ticket, I believe, $1,000. That's $100,000. What if you had four clients at $25,000 each? That's still $100,000. Man, you're working like three days a month at that level, okay? Because those people are not demanding of your time. That's what's really important there. They're not buying your time anyway. They're buying a solution, okay? So... Four clients at 25K is still 100K, and it's just so easy as pie, you'd actually be bored, okay? And you'd need stuff to do, and you'd be probably creating small ticket offers because you're bored, all right? So that's the high ticket world. High ticket is a system anyone can do, not just the famous people or the 
people that are experts already or the people that are, you know, real speakers, you know, they speak all over the world or social media divas or, you know, they have 100 million followers on TikTok. None of that matters. What matters is that you're providing a really good solution to a really big problem. You're providing a very attractive, compelling solution to a problem that's driving them crazy. It's a problem with fire, okay? So they have a problem that's keeping them up late at night. They have a problem they've been dealing with for a long time. They have a problem they're passionate about solving. They're really into this and you're there with a solution. Maybe it's a desire. Like maybe they really wanna find Mrs. Wright and you have the solution to helping them find Mrs. Wright. That, and they're single, they're lonely, they're, they want, you know, Mrs. Right. And you're there providing a slam dunk solution to how to find Mrs. Right. They'll pay through the nose to find Mrs. Right if they believe you could provide an attractive solution to that. You see what I'm saying? And it goes the same across all different types of niche markets and problems and solutions. So one problem, one solution, less is more, okay? This whole business, the high ticket world, is very counterintuitive to how you normally think. It's a different way of thinking. You have to change the way you see the world, the way you see people, the way you see marketing, the way you see business, and most importantly, the way you see yourself because the market mirrors you. If you're trying to sell high ticket stuff to affluent people and you're not a high ticket person yourself and you're not an affluent person yourself mentally, then there's a big disconnect. It's really hard to make that work, okay? Now, if you raise your level, if you raise your self-worth, if you raise your inner game, if you raise the way you think of yourself and feel about yourself, if you see yourself at a higher level, and all of this is a transformation that I went through, okay? And I have my strategies on what to do to, to, to make that transformation when you start thinking at a higher level. Some of it's really fun, games to play but when you start with yourself you know thinking this way when you start thinking at a higher level like this it's very counterintuitive to what you grew up on in business or what you were taught it's like less is more not more traffic not more leads not more appointments not more customers less customers less leads less appointments less time like a, like it's normal for people to think if i want to make so much more money i need to go spend so much more time right Hey, honey, I want to make more money. I'm going to try to double my income in the next couple months. So I'm going to work really, really hard. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be pulling all-nighters. I'm going to be renting office space and, you know, burying myself in that office for two months. I'm going to do everything I can and work my butt off to make more and more money. That's counterintuitive to this because less is more. Like, it's just a complete transformation of your mind, right? It doesn't take more bandwidth grinding it takes more being intelligent to attract higher level people in other words you could go work extremely hard over the next couple months to sell a thousand people a ten dollar offer or ten thousand people a ten dollar offer you need ten thousand people to sell them a ten dollar offer you're going to work hard recruiting affiliates running traffic you know testing split testing oh yeah sales funnels up sales down sales back in staff help, graphic artists, technical people, like you need 10,000 customers. You better get to work. But what if you just sold four people at $25,000? Is it more work? It's just four people. Is it really that much work? You'll find that it's not. So there's, so a lot of this game is very counterintuitive to how you normally think, guaranteed. And transforming the way you see this and transforming the way you approach this and transforming what you do to take action, you'll find less is more and you'll earn so much more money with a lot less work. It just is what it is. So the high ticket system alone is worth going for. It can change your life. It can, it can make you so much more explosive income than you've ever seen in your life. I've had people, even including experts, gurus, who've been in this industry for many, many years, even longer than me, but don't understand this game that I've coached and helped them where all of a sudden overnight they did $100,000 in one month of net income they get to keep. And they're like, where's this been all my life? Like I've been so busy doing all this crap with these launches and these affiliates and affiliate contests and you know all this stuff selling cheap stuff. 
and like it's so difficult to make $100,000 per month like that. Switched all my focus, stripped all that away, focused on high ticket, got 10 clients at 10K in the first week, made 100 grand, you know, and it was all net income. And it just transformed their lives. They didn't see it that way before. And I just held their hand, took them through the process, and presto, the money was there. The money is there 100% of the time if you follow this 100% correctly. So me helping you do this will, will, will get you to the promised land very, very quickly. So if you would like me to help you, it is a way easier than you realize. There should be a link below or a form to fill out or some way to reach out to us. Let's talk about it. Let's get you into the system. It's, it, it's a system where we can either develop a high ticket offer for you. That's your high ticket offer and, and that you've crafted, that you create a service or product or some kind of offer that's high ticket. Or we could do a deal where we partner up on a high ticket offer. Or we could use one of my high ticket offers and we can plug it into your own system. There's, there's, there's a few different ways to skin the cat here, but all of them lead to the same spot, which is a real high ticket business for you that's live, that's functional, that's working for you, making you the kind of money that I'm talking about. You could do it. You could do it. You just follow those steps. The footsteps are the same. Money is just math. If you do the math properly, the money is there. So what's the difference between $100,000 a month and $100,000 a month? Well, if this $100,000 per month is selling $10 products, you need to sell 10,000 of these people. And this $100,000 a month is just four clients who pay you 25 grand or 10 clients who pay you 10 grand, which is harder. I would argue that 10,000 customers at 10 bucks a month or 10 bucks, that's way harder than getting four clients or 10 clients who pay you high ticket. Way, way, way off the charts harder, okay? So you choose your, your flavor of making 100 grand. Hard 100 grand or easy 100 grand. One requires a lot of moving parts and a lot of hours. One, very, very little. So again, I'd love to help you. We can set you up with your own high ticket offer, set up the whole system to get the traffic and leads coming in, the conversions, the whole nine yards, everything that you need to, to be successful high ticket. Or we can do a shortcut where I plug you into an existing high ticket offer that I already have and we can make money together as partners. Either way, I'm there to help you. Just fill out the form below if you're interested. We'll discuss the steps and the details step by step on what this looks like and if this is a good match for you. Okay? No sales pressure whatsoever. Just fill out the form below. I look forward to giving you the details. This is Eric Louvier. We'll see you next time.